Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I wanted to talk about another Slasher Video Blu-ray. This is Shock'em Dead, also known in some places as Rock'em Dead. This is one of Tracy Lord's, Lord's, Lord's first normal films after she left the adult industry. <clears throat> the movie is put out by Slasher Video, which I believe is a subsidiary, again, of Olive Films. This is one of those 80s, early 90s cheese fests that uh, I am very grateful Slasher Video put out. This movie stars this guy, Martin, on the front, who wants to join this band. He works at like a dead-end pizzeria job. He's arguing with his boss. He's unhappy. And he wants to join this big band that's about to, like, kick off and make it. And... He goes for the try tryout, and they pretty much make fun of him and tell him how horrible he is. And then he goes back to the pizzeria, and he's trying to work out coming back. But he told his boss off, and his boss is like, screw you, I'm not helping you, in more words than that. And he ends up meeting a woman who is a witch doctor, a practicer of voodoo, I don't, I don't quite know. And she does this ritual on him where she, in exchange for his soul... She will do whatever he wants to him. And in turn, he becomes like the best musician in the world and is this great guitar player and has this evil side to him. He uh, then goes back, tries out for the band again. He has this new look. He has long hair, no more glasses, not as nerdy looking. He sort of reminds me a little bit of Bobby from Twin Peaks. Very little bit. I don't know what it is. And... That's how the movie kicks off. He's now this like evil guitar player. There is some terrible music in this film. There's a really like weird cover of um, Purple Haze by Jimi Hendrix. Some good guitar playing from an actual guitar player throughout the film. But then the rest of the movie just has some really bad singing and, and just really awful music. The, uh, the character now is going around uh, killing people and trying to get stronger and, you know, live longer because he can't really live anymore by eating normal food. Normal food poisons him. And that's where the story sort of kicks off. People start to kind of get his, his number, so to speak, and realize he's not some normal guy. It's a pretty cool movie. I'm not sure what I say I like the other Slasher video release of uh, Killer Workout more, probably a little bit, but Shock 'em Dead is is pretty fun. I think that um, it's an interesting movie that you know you would never have expected to be put out on Blu-ray. The quality with these releases are again sort of low DVD, maybe high VHS. They don't look great, so don't expect some amazing restoration. They're four by three. This has a director's cut, some commentary, an interview, deleted scenes, so it has a pretty good amount of extra features. It says here, Shock'em Dead is presented using the best available elements provided by Slasher Video, not sourced from an HD master, remastered from one, one inch tape and up converted to Blu-ray and DVD specifications. And it's pretty cool. If you like really cheesy B-movies, a little drop of horror, and just dumb humor and, and dumb violence, Shock 'em Dead is pretty fun. I think all these slasher video releases are low-tier B-movies that you would probably see in a rental shop back when you were younger, and it just feels like kind of perusing the aisles again and finding strange cheesy horror movies or as I said in my other reviews, maybe watching something at like 1 in the morning on HBO and kind of leaving it on and getting a kick out of it. These aren't going to win any awards, but they are amusing. So let me know, guys, if you have seen Shock'em Dead, what you think of it. Thanks, guys, for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.